My name is Andrew Grow, and today we have Kristen Kukuru, Senior Account Manager with Becker Professional Education. Kristen, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. Absolutely. Uh, I did want to ask you about some, maybe some upcoming, maybe legislative changes. Mm -hmm. um, as you as you may know, um, the society and, and a couple of the groups are introducing some legislation this spring, right mm -hmm. now, to um, to at least consider changing some of the regulatory requirements to sit for the exam in Missouri. Mm -hmm. um, big picture, what are you seeing? Uh, maybe a difference between sitting at 115 and 120, um, uh, specific educational requirements, even maybe, do we need to start requiring things like data analytics courses to even be able to be eligible to sit for the exam? Big picture, what are you and Becker you know, seeing in terms of those types of things? Yeah, so one of the things we're seeing is, is students are wanting to test earlier and earlier, um, wanting to take the exam closer to some of those core courses um, in their program. Um, but, it, you know, that also increases the um, chance of higher ability, too. And so they hear that, and they hear that from employers that, you know, even just starting the process makes them, you know, much more marketable. So on that um, end of things, it, it really does help them, and, and they're used to studying, um, and they're so, in that. So sitting for the exam closer to the end of undergraduate degree, okay. Yeah, I think there's a, I think there's a, a happy medium there, you know, whatever that that may be, but um, you know, waiting till the 150 has, has also, you know, there's been some challenges along with that too. You know, we've seen. Um, a lot of students taking the exam in other states um, right here, yeah. so they can um, get the exam done and and truthfully a lot of them you know aren't necessarily taking it right after the bachelor's maybe a little bit closer to when they're going to have the master's so there is that concern too of are they going to have the skill sets they need are they going to try to um, you know get the exam done and, and maybe not put the the um, focus on the skill sets that they need in order to be successful in their career, in career thereafter. Yeah. Um, however, um, they're putting themselves at a disservice for that. So that is that is something that you know you almost have to put that on them as you know they need to be preparing themselves. They need to um, you know figure out how they need to get those extra skill sets in technology, data analytics, as you mentioned. Like that, so. and that and that's great it's consistent with what we're hearing and it's also why it's not a, an easy kind of oh of course that you know we should a candidate should be able to sit at 120 or 150 or one or whatever it is in between there, there are a lot of factors that go into um, candidate success yeah um, so you know with that uh, did, did you want to add anything else to the conversation today I don't think so. Okay. Thanks so much for having me. Well, thank you so much for, for joining the show. Um, you're welcome back anytime. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Mo CPA Bar Talk. If you have any questions or would like to chat a little bit more about the issues that we discussed, just let me know. My contact information is below.